Hey everyone, welcome to the channel Golf with James. Today, we're gonna to be taking you to the Monterey Peninsula to the city of Seaside, California, to Bayonet Course, which is part of the Bayonet Black Horse Golf Courses. Now, fun fact about the Bayonet Course is that it was designed by a left-handed golfer with a severe slice. So you're gonna see a lot of holes that suit a draw player if you play from the right side. Anyway, let's take you to the first tee box and take you through the front nine. All right, so I will pop in here and there with some commentary just as I'm reviewing the round, but I remember showing up to this telling Dan and Sam that I was playing a draw off the tee, and I had up to this point never played a draw before, but decided to commit to it today and ended up hitting a really good opening drive. And you have to think to yourself after that, like, wow, I am gonna open up with a birdie, right? And I pull out my two or four hybrid to try and get there in two and block it hard to the right. Okay. Yeah. So I'm in this junk over here and this is something that I've gotten a lot better at uh, in the past couple months, but it's learning when to take my medicine. And so I try to advance the ball as far up towards the hole as possible instead of just going out to the left, back onto the fairway. And what ends up happening, I am back in the, in the junk. And so, still trying to get back onto the green. End up hitting another tree and eventually ah. open up the quadruple bogey. So super unfortunate, but something that I've gotten a little better at in the past couple months. Second hole here, par four downhill, 355 yards, great drive off the tee. All right. And put myself in a position to take an iron in. And I really like that swing. It just looks so good and the result is really good as well. And I leave it maybe about five feet away from the hole and sink the birdie. So quadruple birdie. That kind of, I feel like that's the story of my life um, as a golfer. Really high highs and really low lows. <laughs> uh, okay, hole number three. It's a relatively short par four, so I take a hybrid off the tee. Leave myself an iron in. I think this is like a nine iron. But it ends up being a little bit too much. So I fly the green and end oh, up too much. in the bunker. And over here, if you're watching and you're in the bunker, one of the things that I've started to do a little bit more is just understand when I'm short-sighted and when I wanna make sure that I just want the ball to be on the green rather than going a little too cute and ending up back in the bunker. Hole four here, par three end up pulling my tee shot off to the left. Oh, man. Not a great recovery shot there. And with my third shot, I am on the green and in a position to potentially save par here. Or not save par, but save my bogey. Gosh. And I putted about half the distance to the hole there. Luckily, I do make this putt, so I somewhat limit the damage to a double bogey here. Yep. Left side of the fairway. Flag in the middle there. Gotta get over some traps. And I go right side of the green. And after picking up that, that double, it's nice to, to get back on the par train. Or the par car, it's not a train yet. Oh and with God, that tee shot, it's gonna remain a car. Oh, that's terrible. 
you still feel like you Bayonet is course. a really pretty course. Um, I, I, I remember just Why playing through it, and, and I've talked to a couple friends who feel like the course isn't that impressive, but I mean, maybe it's because of the weather. I really like playing golf in gloomy weather and seeing the, the cypress trees, or I think they're cypress trees just lining the entire course is, is really fun for me personally to watch. So um, anyway, walk away with a bogey there. And you'll see on the left side, as, as you go through the course, uh, I think construction well, is either yeah, complete or nearing completion for a lot of the homes that are being built adjacent to the community. But uh, for most players, I think those homes aren't gonna really be in play at all. But in this case, my drive went out left, I had a punch back onto the fairway, and then I'm lying three, and my putt is my fourth stroke here. I didn't want to go there, I wanted to go way left, or way right. Give myself a chance. But, you know, that that's the tough part. If you aren't driving it well off the tee, it is just hard to play and score well in the game of golf. Hole number eight, fun, fun par five that dog legs out to the left. You have a lot of room on the right. numbers to the bunker, but... A good drive there and take my two hybrid out and hit just this nice tight draw that leaves me maybe 50 yards from the pin. Back. And there's a little depression in the middle of the green and the flag happened to be in that depression the day that we were playing. So there's my birdie putt and I slam it past the hole. Leave myself a four footer coming back to make par. This is gonna be the story of your life, man. If you don't make this, dude. Sam's telling me like, you got to make this, otherwise, you know, you're just gonna be three putting for, no. for days. And no. unfortunately, I end up three putting. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Fun shot here. It's a teed up, either three wood or a five wood, but. When driver might start putting bunkers in the okay. play, sometimes I'll break it out. In this case, even though I clubbed down, I still ended up putting the bunkers in the play. And then I took a hybrid uh, close to the lip, which you don't really want to do. Anyway, I do end up recovering for a bogey. So again, limiting the damage and end up being 10 over the front nine. So not the best I could have played, but let's see how I do on the back nine in the next video. Thanks again for watching and see you guys here for the next one.